Jeez, they really expanded Traverse Town. Expanded by three times, it feels like. Because there's Riku's area, now there's Sora's area. Strike raid. Interesting, it rebounds slightly. A little bit of a slow cooldown, but that's fine. Persian. Oh, story. Cutscene. I didn't expect there to be a cutscene here. Never been this way before. You should have said that like a few minutes, like a, a few hours ago, actually. I mean, to any of this place. Ooh, what's that? Oh, who's that? Colosseum. Hey, it's Rhyme! Hey, um, any chance you're Neku's partner? Huh? Rhyme! I must admit, even before I realized Rhyme was a girl, I found him, to, like her, to be the cutest little thing ever! So, like, innocent and just adorable, and I felt like that when Rhyme died, that was a really tragic moment. Like, she, she didn't deserve that! Um. Also, um, I'm actually planning to do a Let's Play on, World, on the World Ends with you, but it would be like, I know a lot about it, but I also don't know a lot about it. I forget a lot of the big stuff. So it will still be like a sort of blind Let's Play, but I will know some of it. Um, the main reason I failed playing the game and actually beating it was because supposedly you can get um, these things that allow you to hold more moves in battle. Uh, I think they're called like, caps or something, and I just didn't know where to look for them. And so I ended up going to the final boss with like maybe four moves attached, and you need quite a bit. You mean, you've lost your memory? Yep. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's no big deal. Is that Kyrie's voice actor? I, I hear a bit of Kyrie though. You know what they always say. Sometimes memories just need a little help getting out. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> huh, a little help. I know. Maybe Neku can jog your memory. Come on, Ryan. Let's go find him. Right. Awesome. Flick Rush. You can now play Flick Rush, a fun card game where spirits battle spirits. It's totally not Pokemon. Talk to the Moogle in charge to play. Oh, you wanna play Flick Rush, hey? Well, it's gonna earn some medals. Give me some money first. Oh, no, you're still scamming me from 358 over two days, are you? Wait, how do you know that? I scammed a guy named Roxas, not Sora. Wait, you look sort of like him. Shit. <laughs> it's like the scamming Moogle comes back. Alright. I might play that a little. I gotta start playing the mini games more. I'm so focused on the story most of the time that I just, like, I don't even think to do the mini games. Mainly because I'm in a rush, but. meh. This time I'll actually take time. If I like them, I like them. Yeah. Sorry, Mirgul. Gonna yeah. do a little shit here. What are you? Check it right here, Flick Rush Cubo. You here to play? Am I ever? Oh, -ho. okay. Why not start by selecting tutorials and brushing up on the simple rules? When you're done, select a tournament and wish to participate. Perform well in tournaments and collect medals to increase your rush level. As your rush level increases, new tournaments will become unlocked. Okay. Let me see the tutorials. Flick Rush Basics. In Flick Rush, you select cards with X to have your spirit attack or square to have them defend. To win, you must re use these card moves to reduce the HP of all your opponent's spirits to zero. Select a card and press X to attack your opponent's spirit. Okay. Um, is this the amount of damage they'll do? I'll do horn bounds. Using cards depletes the action gauge. If this gauge reaches zero, you won't be able to use cards for a short time. Select a card and press square to, and a barrier will appear to protect your spirit from harm. Defending like this will not deplete the action gauge. Select a card and press square to block your opponent's attack. 
card you defend with has a higher value than your opponent's, your card will evolve. Tutorial 1, Flick Rush Basics complete. Cool. Next tutorial. When you use a card, its value will appear above your spirit. When the attack hits, you will break your opponent's move if your card has a higher value. When the attack hit, um, whoops, the highest value is star. These cards will break any move your opponent tries, no matter what the card value. We're pulling some breach and a memory shit out of our ass, aren't we? Break your opponent's move with a higher value card. If you use two cards in quick succession, their values will be added together. Break your opponent's move by using two cards in quick succession. You can select cards in quick succession. This will let you defend with a higher value. Defends against your opponent's moves by quickly selecting cards. Okay. Why won't it let me do it? Oh, defending. Okay, sorry. A duel. A, a, for some reason, I thought they meant quickly choose two in succession so you can, like, beat them. I, I missed the word defend. A duel is triggered when you and your opponents both play equal values. You will be dealt a hand of symbol cards, select cards, and press X to match three of the same symbol. Discard the ones you don't need by selecting them and press a, a square. First player to match three symbols wins the duel and deals major damage to their opponent's spirit. Try to win a duel by lining up three matching cards. Oh, nice. Tutorial 2, card values and card breaks complete. Next tutorial. You can reload cards or tag spirits into battle. The number underneath the card shows how many cards each spirit has left. To reload a spirit's cards, um, hold down triangle. Hold down triangle to release its cards. Yep, yeah, this is definitely region of memory shit. But you can tag another spirit into battle by pressing L1 and selecting a spirit with circle, X, triangle, or square. Tag a different spirit into battle by selecting its icon. Cards reload slowly, but automatically for spirits that are on the sidelines. One strategy is to rotate spirits out of battle as their cards run low. Tutorial 3 reloading cards and tagging spirits are complete. Cool. Flick rush menu, so that's all the tutorials. That's an interesting card, um, interesting uh, minigame. Still trying to get up here though. Was there nothing up here? No reward. Well, screw you. Ah, oh, boy. Go away. Go away, guys. I wonder if Rhyme will fight with me. Nope, I don't think Rhyme's around. I wonder how Train Drive works. Uh, if it lets me use it. Boom. So it's only ground based foes. Ah, buying items. Oh, you can choose different colors here as well. That's cool. I didn't mean to do this, but I'll do it anyway. Hey, Neku. It's you. Hey. Sora. What? You actually still trust me? 
Of course I do. I'm an idiot. That I tricked you, right? That guy in the black coat. He said he could send me home. Me and my partner. But I had to bring you to him first. Sorry. So are these other people put in dreams? Or are they fake? No big deal. When it really mattered, you stood up for me. And besides, we're friends, right? Friends. That's cute. <laughs> oh, hey, Neku. This here is Rhyme. Is she your game partner? No. Sorry. I'm teamed up with somebody else. Huh? What? Oh, what the Rhyme. fuck? What the hell? Uh, uh, Neku! Oh, jeez. Hi there. Trick or treat. Huh? Hey, wait! Nope, you got a boss battle, bitch. Okay. Well, this is gonna be interesting. Big guy, monkey. Got his head stuck in a box. Defeat Hocko Monkey. That's a hockery dockety cock. Boomba. Boom. Fire! Oh my god, my drop thing's actually going down faster than I'm in a boss battle. It's on 2.23! Oh my god, it's turned into a kangaroo boxer. Beat him before my drop thing goes. Come on, man. I need you to die. Oh, he's trapped me in this room. And now he smashed the glass. Oh god. You're kidding me. Oh, I was gonna use Drain Drive. Will my drop thing still be the same, or...? Nope, that's good. I just attack normally. My flow motion things are really only good for groups of enemies. It didn't seem to be doing that well normally. My train drive doesn't seem to heal me with this guy. Might be in a bad situation. Yep, just kill me. Thank you. I need to leave the battle. Okay, so drain drive is good, but it doesn't heal me during that fight. The other annoying thing is my drop rate. Um... Might wait until next time I'm sore to do this. 
just because of the drop thing. In the meantime, I'm going to heal and play some Flick Rush. Oh, I can trade stuff for metals. That's cool. So, yeah, let's test this out. Check in right here for Flick Rush. Kabo, am I ever? Tournament. Okay, finals and complete new. Um, training cup. Okay, so that's the only team I can have. Okay, let's do this. Oh, we're finding a little. F oh no, it's it's. We switch between them, right? There we go. Damn it. How can I see the health, by the way? Oh, I, I can see it. There we go, there's one down. Supersonics! Like a Sonic Teenager. I was hoping I'd be able to... <laughs> this is going to take some practice, I guess. I'm the mister. You hurt my wife. Now you die. What if I can do all of them? No, I can't. There we go. White screen of death. Now oh, that's smiling bat. That was interesting. A little slow, but interesting. You win. You won the training cup. Even though I only battled once. 40 medals and I got rank B. Successful blocks. Oh yeah, I could have blocked. I forgot about that. Remaining HP, 21%. Successful attack, 66%. Match time, 2 minutes, 27. Nice. Took the bronze prize. Rush level increased to 2. Unlocked Flick Rush's Beginner's Cup. Alright, so there's rounds now. Well, I might do that another time when I'm up to a... A little tired right now. So before I do drop, I want to try 
looking around this place as much as possible, while also getting droplets. Because at the moment, I don't think I need the stat boosts, so I may as well just use my droplets for money. Okay, let's have a look around before my drop runs out. I'll have 30 seconds after this, so... I'm just gonna ignore them. Okay. Interesting, that's that area. Okay, so there is a march. That's basically everything. Guess I'll just do some fighting then while I wait. I do hope there's a way to recharge or drop at some point, even if you're like whatever. Or maybe it's just a permanent thing. If it is, that'll be a little annoying. Oh, you gain money normally as well, it seems like. Alrighty. Time! To go back to sleep. So, slows down the drop gauge. I don't think I'll need that, I'm gonna test that out. Attack gain, no. Magic gain, no. Potion. I'll be fine. Yeah, it's still at 1.6, that's fine. Why is it... Oh. Maybe I can destroy it with this. Oh, yeah. Vibrant fantasy. Cool. I don't really remember what I was doing as Riku. I was chasing after Beat and Joshua. But I don't remember the area I'm in that well. At least, I don't rem think I've missed any areas. I'm just gonna quickly check. Oh, I think I know where I am. Yeah, this area. Wait, what's this? So. If you choose the drop instead of your bonus cage going down, you can choose things? Rare items at the shop, plus a 20% discount. This one will make more treasure, so more prize boxes than usual. And overcast, friends and foes receive a 20% boost in magic. Interesting. So that's what happens if I choose to drop. I didn't know that. Oh, we're in this area. I was like knocked away so he wasn't actually able to um move the rock I uh, moved the floor below me so it should have just faded away honestly guess the game didn't think that far in 
Oh, there's a link portal up here. Uh, are you can go invisible? What the fuck? Sure. Defeat all the spirits. Pull over at least three flow motion attacks. Sure. It's a penguin! Make it 20 attacks and we'll call it good. Because then it will actually be a challenge. Doing three though, that's easy. So got something called an ice something cone? No, an ice cream cone, but something else. And there's another thing up here for Riku. Blizzard Edge. Let's check out my command deck. I'm gonna put Strike Rate on. Blizzard Edge. So, what does it do? Perform a high leaping slash that causes ice to burst from the ground for additional damage. Nice. Zero Gravity. And Thunder. Oh, there's enemies. Oh, that's fine. I'm giving you a chance to test out this Blizzard Edge. Oh no, that's uh, that's that's zero gravity. Okay, Thunder's a little weird. Blizzard Edge is cool. And time for you to all die. Hmm. I wonder. Don't spawn randomly. I thought you were my enemy. G victory in 20 seconds or less. Sure. I love how they put bombs here though. That's funny. Bombs freeze time and just destroy everything. Uh, where are the enemies? It was a matter of having to find the guy. Okay, that was smart. At least there was only one guy. <laughs> I'm lucky it shows up with like a lock on target thing when you're near him. Even three walls. Rampant Fantasy and Ice Dream Cone, that's what it was. And earlier I got something called a Gim Fragment or Grim Fragment. Done, son. It's rising thunder time. Oh my god, I got bat wings. Oh, this is because I'm on aggro. The pet's on aggro. It changed the attack that it does. Oh my god, this is badass. I can fly. Oh my god. 
a uh, little bit of a problem though. How do I get down? <laughs> we'll allow you to fly, but there's no flying mechanics. And I'm really glad they introduced the flow motion um, stuff because it's very annoying when you fall off a high place. And you have to climb all the way back. Such hassle. In this game, they did it perfectly. In my opinion, at least. And they're really taking, um, they're really abusing the fact that you can go nearly anywhere. Jesus. Okay, so I want to see this. Does something happen when I enter here? I don't think so. Oh, it didn't kill you! Interesting, that's a fast. I can, I can go in there. But it makes me wonder, that's where Sora's boss is. Can I choose who I fight the boss as? I'm not going to try fighting him. I just want to see if I can do this. Because once again, I'm low, I'm low on the drop. Will Riku have his own boss? Hey. We should stick together. <laughs> Perfect. Oh god. To... Oh, hi. Oh god, what the fuck? Where is she? No way. Oi! You get here. Who are you? By choice or chance. You cannot control what you are not aware of. This wakeless sleep will be your prison. To wander forever. What do you mean? Riku! Don't you listen to that punk! Shiki's gonna be fine! Hey, Pete. He told me what's up. Hoodie here set this whole thing up, yo. He promised to send Shiki back to our world, and you was the cost of travel. Of course it was. Yo, this is seriously one half-baked excuse for a mission. Bet you ain't even a reaper. Oh, hi there. Alright. Who are you? It's that guy from the Destiny. Uh, thing from Recurded. Wait. Who I believe is another version of Xehanort. I'm really sorry, Riku. Uh. It's all right. Beat. Watch her. I got this, yo. So we are fighting the same boss. Well, this I doubt this will count towards Sora's. <laughs> Oh. Nope, no you don't. It's got less health considerably. I wonder if this is the Hawker Monkey before we fight a sword, because he has less health, 
And he doesn't have the boxing gloves. Oh my god, what the fuck? I can throw him! <laughs> oh god. He's got a heart arm lost. He's got another arm. Several arms. How much arms do you have, man? I don't think you need a hand. God damn, stop hitting me. What the fuck? You're done! Oh, you back up the... What if, if I drop while in the middle of this battle, though? I have it like, obviously if you drop in the middle of battle, you're gonna die because they'll just kill your lifeless body, your sleeping body. So I have a feeling that since you don't die, you must, like, fade from existence or something. Otherwise, I don't see how they'd be able to do this. Like, why would they ever drop me during the middle of a boss battle? Nearly out of drop. Boom bup. Maximum HP increased and deck capacity increased. Nice. Sora! What are we seeing? This is so messed up, man! She's right here in front of me, and I can't reach her! Hmm, so Joshua was sent to the other world, I'm guessing. If your hearts are connected, you'll reach her. Zora. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of course they did. No one says the word Joshua there. <laughs> Ooh, skull noise. Can you the bride to balance boost and strength and magic? Oh my god. Monstro. That looks like Tron. The world map. Use the world map to move between worlds so you can choose your entry points as well. Oh. Press triangle to view the world data, data or drop. Each time you drop, the world's dream meters and lucky item may change. Okay. Le Cite des Clos. Clutches. Or Cloques. I don't know how you pronounce that. The Grid. And Prankster's Paradise. Oh my god, it's Pinocchio's Paradise World. Wait a minute.
Um, over here. 